Question number eight, Madame Fox. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister of Health, following the recent release of the rheumatic fever statistics, what steps is he taking to address the rates of rheumatic fever amongst whānau living in overcrowded housing conditions? The Mr. Honourable Speaker. Dr. Jonathan mm. Coleman. Mr. Speaker, this government, with support from the Maori Party, has invested $65 million in the rheumatic fever prevention program over the last six years. A feature of the program is healthy home services, working in all 11 high incidence district health board regions, and they're making good progress delivering a range of different interventions to families. We're now seeing real results with rheumatic fever result, uh, rates for Maori down 54 per cent since 2012. I'd like to acknowledge the work and support of the Maori Party in championing this cause. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Madam Fox. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Given the prevalence of rheumatic fever amongst whānau living in overcrowded substandard homes, what is the Minister doing with his colleague, the Minister of Housing, to build larger, warmer, safer homes to further reduce the rates of rheumatic fever? Mr. Speaker. Honourable Dr. Jonathan Coleman. Mr. Speaker, ministers are working together on these important issues, including the housing ministers, and they are best placed to answer questions relating directly to the building of houses. The Healthy Homes uh, Services have a number of initiatives to reduce overcrowding and make houses warmer and safer. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Madam Fox. Uh, what further specific measures will the Minister take to ensure the 75 per cent reduction by 2017, identified in the Māori Party initiative in 2013, is achieved? The Honourable Dr Jonathan Collins. Mr Speaker, we will continue with the initiatives that are delivering success, the 300 drop-in clinics, the 200 school-based services and the national awareness campaigns, to name but three of them. Question number nine, Scott Simpson.